Let's take a look at this application question that deals with coordinate planes together. If you'd like to first try this problem on your own, go ahead and pause the video now, otherwise let's go over it together. Suppose we have three vertices of a rectangle or three corners of a rectangle and they're located at the following coordinates below. Given these three ordered pairs for point M, point A, and point T, we need to find the location or the ordered pair of the last vertex, point H, on the coordinate plane. To go about solving this problem, I'll show you two different ways. One is going to be using algebra, where we're talking about absolute values and that process, and the other I'll show you visually on the coordinate plane by plotting the points and drawing the rectangle. First, we're going to take a look at points M and A because those are interesting with matching Y coordinates of negative 2. Since those negative 2s match for their Y coordinates, we can find the distance between their X coordinates and add the absolute values for negative 3 and positive 4 since they're in different quadrants. Adding their absolute values, we know the distance or the length between point M and point A is going to be 7 units long. We can call this the length of the rectangle. Looking at points A and T are also interesting because notice how they have matching X coordinates of positive 4. If that's the case, we can find the distance between their Y coordinates of negative 2 and positive 3, and since they're in different quadrants, we'll add their absolute values again, and we find out that the width of this rectangle is going to be 5 units long. Given that these negative 2s matched for the y coordinates and positive 4s matched for the x coordinates, this leftover x coordinate of negative 3 and the leftover y coordinate of positive 3 are actually the coordinates for point h. To complete this rectangle, the last coordinate h is located at negative 3 comma positive 3. That's the last vertex. And just to back this up, let's take a look at it on a coordinate plane. To plot point M, we'll start at the origin and move 3 units to the left and 2 units down and plot M in quadrant 3. To plot point A, we'll start at the origin and move 4 units to the right and 2 units down to plot point A in quadrant 4. For point T, we'll start at the origin and move 4 units to the right and then 3 units up to plot it in quadrant 1. Connecting point M to A and A to T, we can see that we have two sides of a rectangle. Now, trying to imagine the other two sides of the rectangle, we're going to have an equal width going up the left side and an equal length going across the top. Imagining where these two additional lines meet, we have vertex H, or point H, located in quadrant 2. The length of segment MA and HT are both 7 units, and the length of segment AT and MH are both 5 units. The points next to each other, like H and T, and M and A, have the same Y coordinates, and the points on top of each other, like T and A, and H and M, have the same X coordinates. Given that this must always be true for rectangles, we know that point H is located at negative 3, comma, positive 3. If these negative 2s match and these positive 4s match, then these 3s must match, and then these final negative 3s must also match. Hopefully, now that you understand this type of example a little bit better, you're going to be able to solve it no problem. As always, keep up the great work, and I'll see you in the next one.